I want to show you how a magnetic needle responds to a current. I have here a wire through which I'm going to run a fabulous amount of current, something like 300 amperes. And you're going to see that wire there. I'm going to get my lights right. Let me see how I want it to go. This is the way I want it to go. Get you optimum light there. When I draw a current, here you see the, the magnetite. The, we call it a compass nowadays, and it's lined up in the direction of the magnetic fields of the Earth. We're going to run 300 amperes through here, and it will change the direction. It will change the direction, which is there's going to be a magnetic field around the wire like this, so it will go like this. The current that I run is so high that things begin to smell and smoke within seconds. The battery is not going to like it when I draw such a high current. I can therefore do it only for a few seconds. So this compass will swing in this direction and it starts to oscillate. I can't keep the current so long that it stops the oscillation. So I will stop it by hand and convince you that that's really the equilibrium position. So if you're ready for that, so we get now connection. Watch it. Three, two, one, zero. There it goes. And I will stop it. The current is still going. You see, that's the, that is the equilibrium position. And I will stop the current. And now I will reverse the current in the opposite direction. And now you will see that it swings backwards. It's 180 degrees in a different direction. Three, two, one, zero. There it goes. I will stop it. A few seconds, that's the equilibrium position, and I let it go. So you've seen that, indeed, the magnetic needle responded to the magnetic field that was produced by the wire. This was the great discovery by Ørsted. The discovery, this demonstration all by itself, may not be very spectacular for you, but historically, it is of enormous importance. I would argue, perhaps, the most important demonstration, the most important research ever done in physics, because it connects electricity with magnetism. It was the foundation of the creation of the whole concept of a field theory. Action equals minus reaction, and that means that if a wire that runs a current has a force on a the magnet, then, of course, the magnet must also exert a force on the wire. And I'm going to demonstrate that to you, too. But now I have a much more potent magnet, for which I will use this one. And the magnet will not move. It's so heavy that it can't move. So now you will only see the wire move. And the basic idea is then as follows. Here is that magnet. This is the north pole of the magnet. And this is the south pole. I don't remember which is which, to be frank with you. So the magnetic field would run then like so. And I have here a current wire, a wire that runs a current through it. The wire is perpendicular to the blackboard. If, when I turn the current on, if the current is coming out of the blackboard, and I have 50 percent chance because I really don't remember whether this is north or south. But let's assume that this is the configuration that the current is coming out of the blackboard, then you will see this wire experience a force up. It is an experimental fact that the force on the wire is always in the direction of I cross B. These are unit vectors. And since I is coming out of the blackboard, if I cross I with B, I get a force in this direction. And so if I reverse now the current, if the current goes like this, then of course the wire wants to go down. And I will show you both. But I don't know which one will come first, because I didn't mark the poles. Ah. Oh. So you'll see it now, slightly different from the way I have drawn it. I've drawn you the magnet looking this way, but it's, of course, much nicer for you to see it this way. So you see the wire, and there is the magnet. And now 
I'm going to run a few hundred amperes through that wire, and then it either will jump up or it will jump down, and then I will reverse the current, and then the opposite thing will happen. Okay, we ready for this? Three, two, one, zero. Notice there was a distinct force down. The force was so high that it even pulled down the supports. So now I can predict that if I reverse the current from this experiment, that now the wire will jump up. There we go. I know now exactly because I switched it this way, so now I will switch it this way and the wire will jump up. That's the first drawing you see. Three, two, one, zero. Very clear. You saw it come out. Okay. Let me take this down. All right. <laughs> 